are proud to bring back to our stage the wonderful poet Victor Harris. Victor, yes, has been a staple on the Bay Area poetry scene for the past 12 years. He is the recipient of the 2001 Frederick C. Fallon Award for Poetry. And earlier this year, he performed in Washington, D.C. at the Reason Rally. Yeah, come on, get this thing lower. Get this thing lower. I'm doing a relevé as I stand here. All the ballet people know what I'm doing. I'm relevé, 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 plié. Okay. <laughs> Victor is excited to be part of the group of artists behind Mad Art Lab, where art meets science and skepticism. When he is not writing and performing, he is the talent behind Rochelle's Cheesecakes, which if you have not had this, is fabulous stuff. So try to get your hands on some of this cheesecake. It's fabulous. Won the Best of the Bay Award from the East Bay Express. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Harris. Good afternoon. Uh, so before I begin, uh, I have an album in Reason I Trust. I have drop cards with me. Uh, you can also find it on iTunes. Uh, this poem is entitled, oh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> I remember the poem. I don't remember the name. Why is that? Oh, hi, Dave. It's called Dave. It's called Dave. All right. It is on the album. Um, I am an amazing amalgamation of milliseconds, a compilation of coincidences, a collection of infinitely small spans of time that separates me from the possibility of my bloodline. I have managed to outswim 500 million of my brothers and sisters to be here today. <laughs> Continuing get chain of happenstance that began moments after the Big Bang brought the universe into being. Matter and energy cannot be created or destroyed, so the same molecules that make up me in this instance have been in existence for over 13 billion years. We are heavenly, but there is no godly hand evident in the creation of man. I can instead trace evidence of my being into the cosmos, the same elements that make me unique and source to create the universe. I mean, forget Jesus. Stars died. Galaxies gave their lives to form my fingertips. How could I not find wonder in waking up? Be more amazed at each day that I open my eyes. Each day I'm granted more time on this little blue marble floating through the vast emptiness of space. I am in awe of life. To quote Carl Sagan, I find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. I am left breathless by the understanding that my continuance is an example of the improbable versus the impossible. And despite what some might think, this gives my life more meaning, makes each day more precious, lends weight and reality to the precious actuality of each person that I allow into my life because I see that they are an amazing amalgamation of milliseconds, a compilation of coincidences, a collection of infinitely small spans of time that separates them from the possibility of their bloodline. So I offer assistance where I'm able, compassion where I can, and a hug when life's weight proves too great for them to stand, because these memories will be the markers of my legacy, allowing me to exist for eternity, or at least a few years past my mental exit from this planet, a few years past my physical exit from this planet, a few years past that moment in time when my atoms are reconnected with the cosmos. I live my life relaxed and happy because I know that I could be gone tomorrow. And like Stephen Hawking said, when your expectations have been reduced to zero, then you truly appreciate everything you have. Thank you. Beautiful, Victor. Thank you so much.